Easy Patch Number 2 Pool Deck Repair Available in 1, 3, 10, and 50 pound kits. Available in all the Mortec and Stegmeier Cool Deck colors. This one is Buff Color Cool Deck. It is the same color as Stegmeier Sand Buff that we found predominantly throughout the United States as the leading color on cool decking. Add two ounces of liquid cement bonder per one and a half pounds of Easy Patch Number no. Two dry cement mix. Add water and mix until you get the consistency of mashed potatoes. This consistency is very good for doing minor repair work. Just add a little more water if you didn't put enough in the first time. Get all the lumps out by smashing it against the side of the bucket with your mixing trowel. This is about the right consistency. Now if you're going to be using the Cool Deck Dash Brush, you'll want to add more water. If you don't add more water to it, it will clump up and not give you a full, thorough coverage with the right amount of peaks. The peaks are the bumpy texture that you trowel to get the cool deck pattern. You want it to look about this runny. Just mix it a little more to get the lumps worked out. Here's a cool deck that needs a crack repair. We take some of the Easy Patch Number no. 2 Cool Deck and rub it into the crack. Then we do a sideways motion to work it deep into the crack. Then we sponge off the excess. Again, put your emphasis on the sides of the crack when you are sponging. Then you can wipe over the rest of it. You want to get it out of all those indentations in the cool decking. You want to thoroughly clean the surface. You want to keep rinsing your sponge out. We're using a damp sponge here. Make sure to wring it out pretty good. Make sure to go over it a few times to get out all the residue that would show up later. Now we have a small patch. We put a little glob of it on and take the trowel and flatten it out. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. To get the cool deck peak pattern, we simply tap the area with our fingertips to make bumps and peaks. 
There's a cool deck crack repair again. There's a cool deck crack repair again. We just smear it into the crack and sponge it off. Make sure to get up any residue. Now we're tapping with our fingertips to get the peaks I was talking about. You'll find this is very simple to do. Now we're testing it to make sure it's set up firm enough so that when you trowel it, it doesn't stick to our trowel. We use a moist trowel and we clean it quite frequently. As you can see, it's fairly simple to do. We trowel in different directions. It's nice to be able to do these repairs yourself. They're really not that difficult to do if you have the proper mixtures. With any cement product, the right mixture is so important. Again, we have been using throughout these repairs the thicker of the two mixtures of Cool Deck. We're simply troweling it to a quarter of an inch thick. This is about a 4 by 8 inch repair where the Cool Deck has peeled off. We have already chipped and cleaned the surface. Now we are tapping it again to create peaks. Just tap all over the surface. Special attention to the edges. You want it all to blend in. Now we put a hot air gun on it, let it stiffen, and give it another inspection. Hit it a few more times with your fingertip. We want the cool deck to stiffen enough that it doesn't cause a slur when you trowel it. You want to use a moist trowel. Make sure it's clean. Now the edges. Grind the edges first. The edges set up quicker than the middle. We just feather edge that out to blend in with the other surrounding cool deck. As the repair cool deck mixture dries, we trowel those areas. If they are too wet, we just wait. Hit it with the air gun some more. Or if you have another repair to do, we go and do that and then we come back. And right here, we are hitting it with the hot air again. Cleaning the trowel is very important. Keep it moist and clean. You want to get in and get out of these repairs as quickly as you can, so you can get on to the next one and make more money. Light strokes. It's very important that you start with very light strokes. As you are troweling, the moisture is coming to the surface, so you will find that it starts to soften the cement patch slightly. If you press too firmly, you will have to retap the area with your fingertips and then trowel again. If the cool deck patch sets up too quickly for you, simply sprinkle it with water and trowel it again, and it will soften so you can trowel it.
When this cool deck dries, it will match the cool decking there, except for some of the staining on it, which it will eventually get and blend in perfectly. Here we have another small section that needs to be repaired. We're checking it with our margin trowel for hollow sounds. Now we're chipping off any of the loose cool deck. Chipping it back to where it's sound and firm. You will need to clean up all the dust and residue. Sometimes you need to scrub it with some soap and water and then rinse it and dab up the excess moisture. Now we're dashing it with the wetter mix that I showed you in the mixing segment where we added more water. The reason we did, as you can see, it has a nice coverage. You don't want to add too much water or the peaks will not stay peaked. Now we hit it with a hot air gun. Of course we cleaned up the edges and we're going over it again to make sure that all the residue and the overspray is cleaned up. After you dash, you will want to sponge off the overspray from the cool deck immediately but then you'll find sometimes that there is residue left and you'll want to hit it again with fresh, clean water. Now you'll wipe the trowel and get it moist and start on the edges. Just grind those edges down and get them to blend in. When you're troweling, you always want to keep the leading edge of the trowel up about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch so it doesn't dig into the cool deck that you're troweling. Keep wiping the trowel and it's easier to do it if you do that. Otherwise it starts slurring and you will need to finger tap it again. No reason to waste time, just keep a clean moist sponge on your trowel. Now that it's gotten firm, we're ready to go on with the rest of the repairs. Light strokes working in different directions. On the edge, do you see how we roll that? It makes a real nice edge. It matches the original cool deck pattern just like the original cool deckers did it. light strokes, just keep troweling over it. Eventually it starts to flatten and starts to match the surrounding cool deck texture. You want to take a good look at the surrounding cool deck texture to know how much you want to trowel it. Because you want it to perfectly blend in as much as possible. Sometimes you are troweling and you will find that there are a couple little spots that need more troweling to get the right texture. You just dab these spots. You don't want to keep hitting places that already have the proper amount of troweling. You want to avoid over troweling them or they won't blend into the original surface. Here we're grinding the edge again. Make sure to just feather the edges in so you won't be able to see the repair later. Now we're doing a lace cool deck repair with Easy Patch 24 elastic crack preventer. Make sure and shake it up real good. And make sure that any solids at the bottom are mixed up to the top. Take a small paintbrush and apply Easy Patch 24 directly into the crack. We took a 
four inch grinder with a four inch diamond blade and saw cut the crack to open it up a little more. You don't always have to do that. It's more a personal preference. Now we're applying a coat of Easy Patch 24 right into the crack. And uh, also it's good on this larger area that needs repaired to put some alongside of the crack. Allow this to dry 15 minutes and then you apply another coat. So it's a two coat application. After 15 minutes, usually is all it takes to dry, apply Easy Patch number two firmly with a mixing trowel, margin trowel. You're wanting to put about an eighth inch layer in. That's how they originally do lace cool deck is they put a base coat down of about an eighth inch and then the knockdown texture uh, is about an eighth inch thick as well. But you'll need to get your base in so we're uh, filling in that area that's already been chipped and cleaned with a sponge and water. Initially, you want to get it the level just flat. And then you will uh, remove some of the surface to get the depth that you need. You don't want this part of it, of the float out, to be as high as the texture of the second coat, that knockdown texture, because it'd be bumped up when you get done. Now we're taking a sponge and detailing the edges and we're going to be dragging off some of the excess material so that it is at the depth that we want it to be at. You want to keep clean, cleaning your sponge periodically, actually quite frequently. Now you want to get that excess, clean that excess out of the pits, the recessed areas of the, the lace cool deck texture as you're doing this. You don't want to wait too long on that because uh, it will start setting up and being a lot harder to clean out of those little pits in the recesses. Now we're getting it knocked down to uh, the depth we need. Now we're filling the crack that we saw cut uh, full and deep with the Easy Patch number two. Wiping off the excess. And then now we'll sponge the excess off. You don't want to push down real hard on the sponge because it will just drag the Easy Patch 2 out of that uh, cracked area. And go along the side. You don't want to go over and over the cracked uh, repair. You want to do the work towards it and, and get your outside area cleaned up. Because if you take the sponge over and over that, it's just going to drag it out. So as that's all firming up, we're applying the Easy Patch 2 to the other crack, other side of the crack.
removing excess and then we'll be sponging it like on the right side of the screen. Now we're taking some of the Easy Patch 2, just little globs, you know, putting it on the crack, which we will trowel flat to recreate the texture that was there before. cleaning our trowel and now we're troweling over the knockdown lace texture. You always want to trowel in different directions because as you trowel it pushes some of the material in the direction you're traveling, so you want to go in different directions. Basically, you put some of these globs where you can imagine how it's going to look like when you've troweled it, and then you trowel over, and if it needs a little more, then that's fine. You put some more globs on, trowel it again. And if you have too much, you can always dig away a little of the excess and trowel it again. You know, make sure you keep a clean trowel. You want to grind the edges of any of the Easy Patch 2 that comes on to those flat areas of the lace cool deck pattern. And you can grind that to paper, even beyond paper thin. And it works great that way. Now we add some more water to the Easy Patch number two to make it more like gravy. And then we're going to apply the pattern to this small repair just by flicking with your fingers. Just dip into the kind of like a gravy consistency and shake it off, flick it off, however you feel. <laughs> Always try to match the type of texture used around the repaired area so that it blends in. You want to lightly trowel, barely allowing it to touch with hardly any pressure whatsoever. 
And if it's not quite ready, if it's sticking your trowel and kind of slurring, then you wait uh, another half minute, minute usually. But this one was all ready to go. It was drying out just right. And so we're troweling in different directions and critiquing it, seeing if any other places need a little, a little bit more. Of course, the whole idea of doing repairs is for people not to be able to locate where you did the repair because it, it blends in so well. Whenever you put material down, make sure you always very lightly trowel over it to see if it's ready for troweling or not. That spot didn't come out right, so we had to play with it, you know, touch it up with our finger a little. always want to pay particular attention to the edges because that area really has a lot to do with whether it blends in or not to the existing lace cool deck. Allow it to dry and then take a soft brush and brush over it to get any loose material away from the repair area before applying your paint. Lace Cool Deck 99% of the time is always painted with deck paint, with two coats of deck paint. So here we're using easy pool deck coating, which of course we sell, that uh, we're just using a paintbrush to go over the uh, repaired areas because it's so small. You'll apply one coat, allow it to dry, and then apply a second coat. When you've painted the area, make sure and lightly go over it with a brush to try to get the brush strokes off. 
Now here we are re-cool decking a large section. We've already prepared the surface with a acid wash and high pressure power wash. Taped in plastic off the area and mixed up the Easy Patch number two in a uh, kind of a runny gravy consistency. And we're using a cool deck dash brush to apply the Easy Patch number two. This is different than the lace cool deck in that this is not two coats, it's just one coat, and that one coat already has the high bumps that have to be troweled down to make the cool deck texture. You don't want to load up on any area. You want it all to be the even depth of the Easy Patch 2 that you apply. And you want these little bumps all over, just like you see. Now here's how you do your step face. Usually on the step face, you want your cool deck to be more like gravy than real runny gravy, in that it's gotta hang against gravity on the side of the step. So it has to be a little thicker. Now some of the oversplash, you have to knock down as flat as you can with your trowel so that when you dash the top of the step, it's not too thick in areas. Now here we're continuing with applying the Easy Patch 2 Cool Deck to the step area. If you mess up and put too much on, you can always scrape it off with your trowel, throw it back in the bucket, remix it, and hit that area again. Now we're touching to see how firm the Cool Deck is if it's ready for troweling or not. Sometimes on cool deck, the, the cool deck tends to dry out in certain spots quicker than other areas. Edges always dry out the quickest. You want to slightly tip your trowel when you're, the leading edge of your trowel when you're troweling so that it doesn't dig right into the cool deck. You always want to keep that edge, the leading edge, uh, up about a quarter inch. You're just wanting to flatten the peaks, those bumps. Just want to flatten them out to however flat you want it to blend in with the other sections of the cool deck. You want to detail your edges, your, you know, the side of the, the cool deck. Make sure and trowel those edges too. may be bouncing around a little bit on a uh, larger section of cool deck to make sure and trowel the cool deck when it's ready to be troweled and not wait too long. If you miss it on an area that starts drying, you just take a little spray bottle, like you use for ironing, of water, and just spray some water on or lightly mist it 
carefully with a water hose, just on the areas you need. That's why I recommend a spray bottle for that, so you can be more accurate. Because you don't want to get water on areas that are you're already waiting for, they're not quite ready to be troweled yet. But this one is drying out pretty evenly. You can see where how we're flattening down the tops of the peaks. Now we're not getting all of it right now. There's a first troweling and then there's a second troweling on cool deck. You get your initial light troweling done and then when it's ready, you can put more pressure on and finish out the troweling. See how you do the uh, edges there. You always slide sideways with your trowel as you roll up. You don't just roll up, it'll drag material off the edge. The most important area to trowel on a cool deck like this is the areas that are drying the quickest. If you need to get the cement to set up quicker, you can always take an air blower to it, to the areas that need it. Little critiquing with the fingertips. On the face of the steps, you want to trowel sideways or up. You'll do a little of both. Area got a little dry, so we had to sp sprinkle a little water on it. Usually when you do that, you want to wait half a minute usually to uh, trowel it because it, it'll when you initially put spray some water on it usually uh, takes at least half a minute, minute before you can trowel it because it'll slur when you trowel it too quickly always keep a clean trowel The best trowel to use for doing plaster repair, cool deck repair, any of that, is this type of rounded edge trowel that we're showing here. It doesn't dig in when you're troweling as much as the square type trowels, the rectangle, the rectangle size. Now, if you need to get to the middle and you can't reach, you can always put golf shoes on and walk out there with the spikes on the bottom. Yeah, there's, there's the second troweling. You can see it looks a whole lot better than the first troweling. You notice we're using a trowel 
on the already dried out area so that we don't leave a mark and then we can reach out to that center area to make it a lot easier to trowel. Here we're doing a simulated flagstone repair. The chipped up flagstone, well simulated flagstone, as you see in the center, uh, has been chipped off, you know, any of, well actually all of it, because it was mostly gone. And so we're just, it's easier just to tape it off and, and just do that small flagstone or a complete flagstone. It's just usually easier than trying to repair half a flagstone. So we're just using regular painting uh, tape and rubbing it in real good where it meets a simulated flagstone to be repaired. The more accurate you are putting the tape on, the less touch up at the edge you would possibly have to do. Now we're applying Easy Patch number two. This is the same color that was used when this simulated flagstone was originally installed. Just trowel it until it is uh, flat and not higher than the other surrounding simulated flagstone. You can do the same type of repair on simulated brick, sim simulated tile, and etc. Now we let it set up a little bit and then we're going to make more of a real flagstone look out of it because real flagstone is usually always peeling so you want to make it look like some of the top surface is peeled away like it does on real flagstone. Now here we're using a hot air gun to expedite the drying time. Don't want to hold it too close, usually about four inches away and keep it moving. Now it's dry enough to remove the tape.
Now we're using the hot air gun again because the repair has to be dry, uh, bone dry, before you put on your clear acrylic sealer. Some people like to put a stain on the simulated flagstone, simulated brick, simulated tile, etc. And that can be accomplished taking a good paint and diluting it with about 10 parts water. And then taking a sponge, dipping it into that liquid, squeezing out the excess from the sponge and then wiping over to stain the simulated flagstone. Here we are taking a soft foxtail brush and uh, cleaning off all debris prior to putting on the clear seal. Now if you need to touch up the expansion joints, the grout joints rather, on this type of repair, the, actually, a paintbrush is not the best. Those small paintbrushes, you want to use a toothbrush, and it works the best. Just squeeze a little in the, the joint, and then you take and uh, finish it out with the toothbrush. Here we're applying clear acrylic non-skid coating from Easy Patch. Just brush it on. We were fortunate we didn't have to do any repair to the grout, which is simply a, a deck paint. You'll want to let this dry and then apply a second coat. 